hey guys welcome in QK Java tutorials in this video tutorial we are going to talk about one of the very important Java multi-threaded interview question and the question is that explain multi-threading jargons so here we are going to look into many uh, keywords basically I would say uh, or uh, jargons related to uh, multi-threading so let's let's start so here I have listed all the multi-threading jargons which we are going to discuss in this video tutorial. Yeah. So let's start one by one. So first of all, we'll talk about what is race condition basically. A race condition occurs when the correctness of a computation depends on the relative timing of the multiple thread by the runtime. Yeah. In this scenario, getting the right result relies on the lucky timings. So here uh, you can see an example of uh, basically a class I have written and we have a add method right and uh, this method is not synchronized at all right. So here uh, uh, here if, uh, if uh, this method is getting called by two different threads can produce a race condition right when two threads uh, will try to add a value to the single shared object chances are there the race condition will occur and as a result the outcome of uh, add method will be unpredictable yeah so this is a base example of basically race condition now next jargon we'll talk about what is deadlock deadlock occurs when two or more threads are blocked forever waiting for each other to release uh, release up the shared resource for two threads, it happens when two threads have a circular dependency on the pair of synchronized shared resources, right? This kind of situation is called deadlock. Yeah. So when deadlock occurs, then partially or completely your program will hang, right? Now let's talk about the starvation. Starvation describes a situation where a thread is unable to gain regular access to shared resource and is unable to make any progress right this happens when shared resources are made available for long period by greedy threads for example suppose an object provides a synchronized method that often takes a long time to run or return the result if one thread invokes this method frequently other threads that also need frequent synchronized access to the same object will often be blocked yeah now let's uh, talk about the next jargon that is called mutex mutex stands for mutually exclusive only one kind of operation either read or write is allowed at a given time frame that's the mutex yeah uh, next we'll talk about the live lock what is basically live lock a thread often acts in response to the action of other threads right if the other thread's action is also in response to the another thread, then live lock may result. There is no progress, but threads are not blocked. That's, that's the live lock. Now, let's talk about the synchronizer. A synchronizer is any object that coordinates the control of flow of threads based on its state. For example, you have a semaphore, countdown latch, future task, exchanger, cyclic barrier etc right these are the example of synchronizer now let's talk about the latch a synchronizer that can delay the progress of the threads until it reaches the terminal or a latch state that's the basically latch now last but not the least we have a semaphore semaphore you can define counting semaphore are used to control the number of activities that can access the certain uh, share resource or perform a given action at the same time right when we talk about the example of semaphore semaphores are normally used to implement resource pool or to impose a bound on a collection right so guys these these are the where uh, basically uh, 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 thread jargons but even uh, one is also pending that is exchanger right so here are two party basically or two party barrier in which the parties exchange data at the barrier point right so there are two threads which meets at the 
uh, one barrier point and that exchanges the data that is the exchanger basically that's the last one sorry to, sorry for that uh, uh, I thought uh, semaphore is the last one but exchanger is the last one I hope you are now aware about the, these thread jargons which will help you to answer interview question so guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video